Hello everyone, this is Carol Lam Puzio from Farago Defense, and today we're preparing for war against the virus by making um, wipes. And to secure peace is to prepare for war, so we're preparing today for uh, the war on the virus, but I actually have some things around the house to use to make wipes, starting with paper towels. I bought quite a supply of paper towels. Previously, before this had even gotten out of control, there was a major sale, so I have a good collection of paper towels. And in order to conserve paper towels, actually pre-making wipes helps to conserve and using a recipe that my husband found on the CDC to make um, a disinfectant cleaner using bleach, which is something previously I probably wouldn't have normally have done. I actually had found a book I made years ago with recipes for a healthy home and cleaning, and it uses a lot of household products you might already have. The solution for the wipes was taking off of the CDC website on disinfecting, and they gave a solution uh, for disinfecting and cleaning, and it uses bleach and water. And it is suggested that you use um, rubber gloves when cleaning, not to mention our hands are getting really dry from washing all the time. And I just did my nails. So, um, of course, I'm wearing rubber gloves while I'm making the solution in order to um, keep my hands from getting any drier and messing everything up. So uh, make sure you have yourself some rubber gloves. You have your measuring devices and uh, some bleach, water. Um, it might be recommended to use distilled water to keep yourself from getting streaks and lines on the items you're cleaning. And let's get going and make some wipes. So the first thing you need to do is uh, find a container to uh, put your wipes into. I've used a couple of things today from um, these I already had around the house, which are from either the dollar store or some place like Walmart, etc. You probably can purchase them on Amazon now and take a few days to get them. They pretty much cost less than a dollar a piece. And uh, one of these will, you can put actually two halves of your paper towel rolls in. And I'm also going to, now that I've already made a few, I'm going to make one of these because I saw this online um, as an idea and I already had this for um, sugar and I also already keep um, towels, regular old towels, uh, bar mop towels in one of these containers on my kitchen counter already and now I'm seeing the idea to keep that, to use them in place of paper towels and also another thing you could use is old socks right now that would be a good option if you're running low on paper towels so normally to wipe down daily i will probably use the towels as opposed to the paper towels but for disinfecting and cleaning up yucky things i will use the paper towels also so you have to cut the paper towel roll in half now um i've seen many different ways of doing it from using uh power saws but I'm just using a good old serrated knife and um, it can make a little bit of a mess, mess so you want to have a cutting board to cut it on and um, basically you want, depending on the size of your container, you might want to mark it so you know how you would want to uh, cut it. But we earlier today had made uh, with a thicker paper towel. Uh, we had cut in half and they fit nicely into this container that I already had. So this one actually has two of them in it. So a little trick I'm going to point out right now before we get to the cutting of it is you will cut it. It will have the cardboard in the middle and then you're going to soak it with the solution that I'm going to tell you how to make. And then you're able, once it's wet, you're able to easily pull the cardboard out and then you have your wipes. I'm going to show you how to cut it in half. So I saw, I haven't tried this yet, but I saw online that it's easier if you bend your paper towel roll in half. 
and then you're just going to want to saw through it, basically, like so. Okay, so it's actually quite a workout to saw through paper towels, believe it or not, with a serrated knife. So if you have a type of power saw you could use and cut a whole bunch of them in half ahead of time, that might be helpful. And I also wanted to mention that this is a great way to actually conserve paper towels by cutting them in half. But you'll want to do a whole bunch of them ahead of time, most likely. Anyway, um, so to get on with the solution, or the uh, one I showed you previously with the two paper towel rolls in it, this was actually the uh, doubled up to make uh, two of them. So I'm just going to do one now, and I'm going to conserve this other one for later to make a new set of paper towels and squish it into there so after you've cut your paper towel roll you will place it into the jar or container then you will mix up your solution which is uh, a quart of water warm water and four teaspoons of bleach stirring it up into your bowl or container that okay so then after you've mixed up the solution and i've added a few drops of dish soap to the solution like a dawn soap type of soap and you could also add some essential oils if you would like this one in particular, I don't really like the smell of, so I'm not going to add that for now. This is good enough, and the soap actually gives it a fairly good scent. And then you're going to take the solution and pour it over the top of the paper towel and let it absorb. Let it absorb, and then you will be able to uh, pull out the cardboard like very easily see that then you have your grab a hold of the center and you have wipes so this will work in there's multiple containers you could use whatever you have around the house right now will do and um you want to wipe it onto the surface and you let it uh sit on there for at least five minutes so i would just wipe it on and let it dry most likely now uh, you might get some streaks because there is a little bit of bleach in here, but um, it's not a whole lot of bleach. So, so far I haven't found an issue with it. This is more for uh, some cleanup. So there you go, some disinfecting wipes. And without even having to go to the store, most of us have cleaning products that we can make these wipes with. I love these glass jars. They look nice on the counter. They're made in USA, washable, of course, and... Um, Fairly inexpensive. I believe I got these at Walmart for about $5. And they have a nice little lid. And there you go. That's one form of a wipe container. I have some other items that I have in storage that I picked up around the dollar store. I showed you these um, containers earlier that are about less than a dollar. Look around, see what you have. You can even use an old wipe container if you have any uh, baby wipe containers or uh, Lysol wipe containers will work, but um, they're almost not wide enough for these uh, paper towels. So this is a great uh, solution. And like I said, I will also use um, regular uh, bar mop towels and even socks in uh, or washcloths into a glass container or a plastic container will work well for reusable, washable uh, towels to clean your counters off with, for example. So I hope you enjoyed uh, making wipes today and let me know how it goes for you. Good luck. Have a great day. Be safe and be well.